welcome to Two Point Campus. Myself, Call Me Kevin, RT Game, and the Spiffing Brit are teaming up to bring you the coolest, most fun, chaotic university experience. We're gonna be building campuses, university lifestyle for you. Thanks so much to Two Point Studios for bringing us together and sponsoring these challenges, as well as bringing the game to you guys at the link in the description below. I myself will be transforming into many different forms of NA. I don't really know why, but we have every single week a different challenge brought to you by the one and only Lawrence Cheney. Yeah, you heard it right. That Lawrence Cheney. We're gonna begin with the campus that I built first and from the second week on I'm gonna have to survive whatever Call Me Kevin is passing on to me. <gasps> This person is just vomiting everywhere. This is gonna be my problem. I mean, when you say it with that tone, anything would sound bad. I pass it to Spiff. Help. Spiff sends it to Artie, and Artie sends it to Kevin. And at the very end of the video, you're gonna see what happened to my beautifully designed rock and roll campus once all the other three members of the crew have touched it. Let's head over to Dean Lawrence Cheney and see what the first challenge is about. Smart lad, he'll go far, very far. <sighs> a university should be a center of learning excellence, a pure-minded brain temple for the brightest and best, a shimmering totem to the educational arts. Yeah, sorry, that sounds awful. If it's not fun, no one's going to come. So in this challenge, you need to create the most rock and roll university. An absolute rager exactly of a recreational right. exactly. establishment with a side order of learning. Sound good? Of course it does. Start course. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. <laughs> I love the announcement. So we have all this plot. It's massive. We need a lecture theater. We need a recording studio. And we need a teacher. So we're gonna be teaching drumming, but we also, I think we need other instruments hydrate. too. I think we need a piano. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> no one can play it. And guitars, of course. Now we are done. <laughs> recording studio. Even the door is a piano. Do we want this lecture hall to be big when we don't really focus on the grades? All right, we are not done though. We need a teacher. <laughs> and hire Sebastian Factory. Drops litter? What? Unacceptable. We need someone who has been awareness. Shane. They all drop litter? We can fire them later. Sebastian is dabbing, so I think he's the cooler one. We're gonna plop him here. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. That's a good one. <laughs> the basic requirements for a staff room is that it has walls and it's got a door. They deserve to sit. Mayor Tabitha Winstock, I'm pleased to be here today wherever this is. Vote Winstock. Wow, such a good mayor. Vending machine time. Burp machine, the cheesy gobbins machine right next to it. You get something salty, then you need to drink. You gotta spend all their, all their money there with the vending machines. Students are considering dropping out? Huh? I I'm building the dormitory. Wait for it, wait for it. Don't, don't you leave yet. Done. Intruders on campus. Nice. You know we need a janitor. <laughs> There's a bit of an issue by the toilet. I don't know if you guys can tell that we need a janitor. <laughs> Dominic is the cheapest. Please do help us right now. We're gonna make the student union room massive. Dance floor. Hell yeah. So that people will want to be dancing and immediately getting the drink. You sweat, you're parting hard, you get thirsty, the bar is just a step away from you. We're gonna need a stage, a freaking stage. <laughs> you guys want the bin maze? Okay, we gotta make a bin maze too. <laughs> Wait a second. Let me finish this room, then we make a bin maze. Whew, ask you party, schedule, whatever it costs. Book event. Look at our party. This is our first ever party. There's no one. There's no one. <laughs> Where's everybody at? Wait, I missed it. I missed the party. I... <laughs> no! Why did I need a computer lab? If it's all about partying. Oh, it's missing a bin. I almost forgot. No. Hurry. Oh, thank God. 
Party. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Party time. DJ Sue. DJ Sue finally. Aww, so happy. Oh shoot, I sold the stage. I told you I was gonna misclick. But can I still organize events? <laughs> I need a stage. I need to buy it back. Someone has a medical issue, but we don't have a medical office. Maybe I need to help them recover from the parties. Medical room! Here we go! Unaffordable! Uh-oh. I'm gonna need to earn more money. <laughs> I need more paying students. Uh, doubling the size of the class. More students, more money. Aw, they love this room. I think this is their favorite spot. <laughs> They're so talented! The next queen, the next Ed Sheeran. The next Rihanna, they are all in this room. Stuff all like in this it. room. <laughs> that guitar is floating. I didn't know we also teach wizardry here. <laughs> A group of prospective students are interested in musicality and hoping to visit the campus. Hell yeah, please, more money. You know what? I'm gonna sell some of the plot because I definitely made it way too big. I would need more money. <laughs> So we're just gonna make this smaller. Wonderful. Better more we go on strike. Okay. Lovely rest okay. of your day. First Campus impression. management. We need a loan. Let's and then it's not my problem that I need to pay it back because I'm passing my bill on to Spiff. Spiff, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, now we are rich again. This is the bin labyrinth. The important thing is that they cannot fit in between bins. Oh my gosh, looking amazing. <laughs> Uh, now that we have sure the bin maze, honestly, we can focus on the less important things like teachers. How do we get them into the bin room? Please go inside! <laughs> She's almost there! Open the door! <laughs> Why don't you go inside the bin maze? Anyone? <gasps> Someone went inside! Oh, oh, oh. Pause! 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 Did you guys see? We did it! My life is complete. So Kevin, every time he finishes his challenge, he's passing his university campus to me. What am I expecting from this? The worst. I'm scared. <laughs> There's a tractor and rocks? Uh, rock and roll? <laughs> what are you doing in here? What are you doing in my zen den? Get out! It's important to stop and smell the roses. I mean, theoretically, anyway. But what if you're just too busy? What if all that studying, eating, partying <laughs> doesn't give you the time to get anywhere near a flower bed? Then the university environment has to provide. Whatever you build, you must always have more gardens than classrooms. Flower it up and get zen. Can I just undo this whole thing and make it a massive garden? Sure. <laughs> Where is the grass? This is going to be our peaceful space. This is where I'm gonna gather all the inner harmony needed. Deal with whatever Kevin has thrown at me. And let's continue with the year, with the school year, and try to solve whatever we can solve and save the situation. Students are freezing to death. What can I do? I'm gonna sell all the air conditioning I can sell. Dire state. The academic year is over. The results are in. But I'm just selling ACs. Expelled five, dropouts one. Are we gonna try to improve on this? People are vomiting all over the floor and they are... <laughs> they are sick. Yes. Do we have a doctor, anyone? So now that we have a medical office, we're gonna need to hire a doctor. Come on, doc. Heal some students. We need someone who can fix things. Mr. Maintenance Mark, you are hired. You okay, these are still stinky. Look at them. Look, look at them trying, but it's so stinky that they, they, they can barely breathe inside this room. And this is where the students are supposedly sleeping. I know the task is to have more gardens than classrooms, but I feel like in order to survive Kevin's campus, I need to have more janitors than classrooms at this rate. I think they don't have a shower. How did I not notice? They have one shower for a million people. That is the problem. How many showers can I fit in here? The more the better and it's literally a life or death situation doesn't even have sanitizers on logs kevin <laughs> in the times we are living in look at them look how they are running to use 
to shower. They needed it. They 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 want to be nice and clean. Finally, the flies will not be flying around them, but they'll be flying around the flowers that we're gonna build. There's one toilet for dozens of students. Everyone is storming the bathrooms now. They could barely hold back. Oh no, now the toilets are stinky. No, we've just built them. Come on. It's as if Kevin's spirit is just living within those buildings, living within the walls. And they just want me to fail. Is that the library? There's just vomit everywhere. Now that people are not dying and they can actually go somewhere to pee, we are ready to start the next year, I think. 65 students would like better accommodation? Why do we have so many students? I need to focus on the gardens, not building more dorms. <sighs> There's a few issues at campus. I thought that I had the situation under control. Help. What about my gardens? When will I build my gardens? I need more dorms. It's gonna be like a hundred students in one room. We do what we can to survive. It's ready. We're finally ready. Flower power. Okay, anything with more green? <gasps> Rose garden, please. Then staff members are ready for training. Well, good for them. Uh, I'm planting trees. I'm busy. <coughs> and there's so many plants that I have allergies to. I need to build two more dick sites. These are ugly. There's no green. No. I'm gonna cancel that course. How about that? Wait, it didn't change anything. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we are saved. I only need to spend 40,000 and we can get the archaeology groups out of sight. Ah, 7x7 seven seven is actually not that big. I thought it would be bigger. That means we can put a lot of green around it. This is great. Now, <laughs> our site, we are getting there. But anything that can make this concrete look a bit better <laughs> will do. I'm a little bit worried that this is the calm before the storm. Everything is looking a bit too okay let's just check on this side uh, <laughs> they are dying our flow state our inner peace i'm gonna hire more janitors this is unacceptable i'm gonna spend all our budget on janitors to keep the flowers alive we have eight teachers six assistants and 15 janitors who would have thought that creating a hippie school requires this much maintenance 70 staff members are ready for a training well good luck spiff <laughs> good luck it's not my problem and the loan that we took ain't my problem i know i changed my t-shirt so today i'm gonna be kevin hey there friends how's it going who do i play <laughs> me 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 yeah hi mom <laughs> yeah, how'd you play chess? No, I'm the queen of the castle. <laughs> oh, we <yeah>. get. <laughs> oh my. World of higher education, we tend to think that happiness and good grades are the same thing. But what if we're being too hard on ourselves? What if happiness is success? Spoiler alert, it is! I want you to make a happy campus full of merry, beaming students and staff, and we can worry about the failure rate later. But then again, if you're happy, have you ever truly failed? <laughs> the only issue, I'm gonna be continuing where Kevin left it. The students are not happy. First thing I see, there's a slight, slight, slight issue. Anything working, anything at all. This is where they sleep. This is the Zen Den. Peace and harmony. Everything is stinky. Nothing is working. Everything is breaking. I'm surprised the building is not on fire yet. But everything is in dire state. Again, considering dropping at Gavin. <laughs> Why? The one good thing that... Kevin has done garden chess set. Honestly, this is way too cute. After all the chaos and all the hardship that he is putting me through, <laughs> it makes up for it. Thank you, Kevin, for giving us a head start with happiness. Now all I need to do is fix everything else. What is this corner even? Why are they gathering here? They are itchy, they are sick, there has been vomit here and there. I don't think this is the most hygiene-friendly situation. Zero. 
janitors. Thanks, Kevin. I'm gonna hire a country of janitors. Erica, please save our souls. Layla, as well. Oh shoot, I'm hiring teachers accidentally. What a mistake! No, we don't care about education. We care about no vomits and no sickness on the beds. Boys, girls, let's get to work. Let's take a look. How bad is bad? Um, still pretty bad. Never too many janitors. Let's see if 23 janitors can actually somehow make this campus livable. I think we need a few bins here. Please, these. In between the aircons. Spiff will love this. <laughs> the toilets are usable. It only has taken these three janitors to spend the rest of their lives in the toilet. Wait, do we have one single shower? Of course everything is stinky. For their happiness, they need more bathrooms. Oh my gosh, they are... Look at them. Even though they are sick and stinky and sad, they still refuse to leave this corridor. It's like the corridor of death. Can I hire more janitors? Jess, you are hired. Charlie, you're in. 31 janitors. I don't think that's enough, but it's a start. Our happiness has increased a lot, by the way, just from the fact that they can pee and sometimes take a shower. Massive, massive progress just by providing basic needs. What is this bubble thing around them? What, what are they doing? Moles distract and confuse other students, affecting their ability to learn. Look out for student interactions clouded in confusion. What do you think? Who is the mole? Oh, here, 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 here. Let's follow them. Okay, confused, confused. Is the janitor the mole? I don't think so, but he's my prime suspect. Confusion, confusion. Someone who walked in here is a mole because they are all confused. Expel. What happened if it wasn't them? Track a mole, zero tracked. Oopsie. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna expel this knight because what, what can we lose? Dennis, were you the mole? No. And Dennis is sad because we expelled him. I'm gonna just start expelling. I feel... Horrible. No, I failed. Wait, wait a second. The facility is more free once again. <gasps> we did it. They were very sneaky because they pretended to be confused when they were the ones who were confusing us. Gosh, that was hard. I'm considering the most situation under control. They're too scared to confuse the students, but there's another one still. Okay. They finally are going outside too. I think I just had to start a new school year. Who who would have thought? <laughs> we are not earning enough money to cover our costs. Based on current projections, we are forecast to lose a million dollars. We're doing so well. Is this? What is this room? Private tuition room? This massive private tuition? Who did this? I'm gonna slightly modify this room. I'm gonna be nice to the teachers and especially to the janitors. They are working so hard. Look at them. Oh, they're finally able to take a break. Morning. After Student all this hard work, they can play a bit of crazy taxi. They can water the roses to then enjoy the scent in the room that no longer smells like vomit. I'm happy for their happiness. Need to hire more because we only have 52. Clary. Clary Chess? <gasps> Lovely to meet you, Clary. Gets hungry easily. Me too. You are hired. This is a nice area. I like it. This is cute. Must have been built by Dan. <laughs> we need to build a birthday reference. What about this trophy? If you look at it closely, it's almost like a cup of tea. It cost a lot, so I hope that he will like it. I'm hoping to buy his friendship. If it wasn't obvious. <laughs> We're trying to buy his friendship here! Another gem, all for you, Spiff. And look at that for a birthday surprise. Trophies that spell out happy, and the little ducks, and B-Day, and Spiff, and more ducks. Oh, oh, here we are. Oh, let's take a look at how we did. <laughs> Ceremony time. We got two awards! Take a look! Campus of the year? We managed to turn a stinky, full of pee and vomit facility into 
a university that even gets an award? King of Hearts awarded to the campus that cultivated the best social relationships. We did it! High five! Don't leave me hanging. Okay, that was awkward. Not toy money that I bought on Amazon uh, as business expense. Just a very, very small fraction of my revenue because obviously I'm a super gangster thug life. The rich person. I've never worn these many rings in my life. So lots of bling bling. And we're gonna go gangster mode and spend it all. The only slight issue with today's challenge is that the build I have and the build I'm gonna have to continue was created by the spiffing Brit, continued by RT Game and perfected by call me Kevin so I'm expecting nothing good and we're gonna have to spend most of our money fixing things up I'm afraid another, another career, career another, another life, life. I, I was, was the, the drift, drift queen. queen the drift queen no, no one, one could, could defeat me. me if only I'd have stuck with it then I wouldn't be bankrupt and living in my car oh <laughs> <laughs> didn't see you there <laughs> <laughs> For this challenge, I want you to spin, 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 spin. spin. Yes, yes, Lawrence, yes. <laughs> Here we go. This is totally not fake. Totally not fake money. <laughs> on empty. The only thing I want to see you stockpiling is mild anxiety and a terrible credit rate. <laughs> Please tell me it's not too bad. Spiff, Dan, Kevin, have mercy. Gosh, I thought that this build since all three of them have worked on it, was gonna be an absolute disaster. Students are learning. The bedroom is clean. Are you guys sure that I got this built from Kevin? What's happening? I cannot quite believe that things are working. Get bone zoned? I'm afraid to ask. We're gonna check out the awards where Kevin left it. Year nine awards. 100% pass rate? What? <laughs> this is Kevin's build? What is going on? With 87 graduating, 7 gone <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Mysterious. Maybe Spiff's and Dan's builds were already so good that it was hard to destroy them. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Start the next year and see how well can we do. What do we want to spend our one million dollar budget on? Let's try to believe that this is real. Need a funny business teacher. Vincent, you're hired. We have all these kiosk and vending machines to make students spend and for us to gain money but we pretty much need now the opposite i would need to make everything free let's make like a massive library spent quite a lot of money on it so shall we actually build it you ever notice that the world is round like the orb it's probably a sign that we should get this of course it only costs five thousand i think this probably goes outside monthly profit minus 20 oh minus 12 Oh, we are doing too well. <laughs> we need to spend more. We are missing one lecture theater. Lecture theater to add. That's expensive. That's good. How many how many can I fit in here? In the middle. What if I turn this? They not they don't need to see the teacher, right? Yeah. You can also hear sideways. You don't need to see. That's what I call a lecture theater. Hiring everyone, you know, they deserve it. Montgomery already looks like he needs to go to the toilet to hire them and place them in the bathroom. So far so good. We have spent half of our money already. So now this is our chance. Make everything free, accessible for everyone. Oh, this is too expensive. Come on. We're gonna make education free. Free, free and free. Perfect. To build we need a gym. Gym equipment. Let's see. Basketball is expensive apparently. Gonna have an amazing basketball team. I want them to bike. Oh, well, they are so tiny in comparison to the hoops. Look at that. <laughs> they need to be throwing into the hoops from the bike. Bike ball. 471,000 to spend. Anna doesn't see a dance floor. She sees a brightly colored chessboard. Honestly? <laughs> Look at this smiling chessboard. <laughs> it's perfect. Education Minister Tarkin Foxbridge has asked that we train our staff. We'll receive some addi additional funding. Oh no, we don't want funding. No, I'm gonna refuse. Begin. Oh, oh, oh. How did I go from having over $400,000 to now being on a $40,000 budget? <laughs> 
Oh, we can't afford Hank! No! Oh, okay. 26,000 for a year, but his monthly salary is enough. We are now down to $500. We started with nearly a million. I think we are succeeding at this challenge. <laughs> Did we run out of enough money to pay for the concert? <laughs> bankruptcy warning we've been given an official warning due to our budget reaching minus one hundred and fifty thousand dollars if our budget reaches minus three hundred thousand the campus will be shut down we can survive the only thing is we shouldn't let it go down to minus three hundred thousand we'll be fine student launch party i guess you could say that i want to go to a party but not enough to organize one cannot afford it <gasps> wait what oh no oh 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 no oh no how did this happen it happened so quickly no please no no don't take my campus away no no <laughs> you guys told me to sell something i might have overestimated our ability of keeping the school bankrupt. Is there any chance I can go back? <laughs> I think we did great. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and now we are taking a look at what happened to my first campus. What? No, the bins are gone. That cannot be. He deleted my bins! This is unacceptable! Then was it you? <laughs> uh, what? What is this? A room filled with bins? What is this room? Oh, it's the student lounge, I see. Complete with more bins than anyone knows what to do with. And right, they're gone. That was my favorite room and it's gone! Do check out the game at the link in the description below. It's literally out just now on every single one of your favorite platforms. See you guys soon in the near future, hopefully without calling Kevin sabotaging me forever and ever and always. But the chessboard was a lovely touch, wasn't it? I'll forgive you, Kevin. I do. But not spiff.